Hello, hello, hello. This is Stephanie with Be Simple Realty, and today we're just gonna talk simple real estate to hopefully increase your knowledge base because you don't know what you've not been told. Since you're already watching, I know you know what to do with those like and subscribe buttons down below, so let's go. Today we're gonna talk about brokerage companies, independent versus franchise, and what's the difference. So let's just look at some basic differences between an indie and a franchise. An indie independent brokerage is simply a brokerage that is not tied to a national based company. An indie can freely choose its operational models, branding and marketing, all without having to look to a parent company for direction or permission. Because of that flexibility, they can respond quickly to a local need at a micro level and make changes very quickly when necessary. Indies have to be very clear on their vision, mission, and purpose since there is no higher power directing it for them. Yes, I'm an indie and quite enjoy being a slight disruptor in the marketplace. I get to choose how I want to play the game of entrepreneurship. A franchise is a national or regional based company with familiar traditional names like Keller Williams based in Austin, Texas, all the way to publicly owned stock exchange companies like Realogy, which owns several brands like Caldwell Banker, Century 21, Better Homes and Gardens. Because of the large umbrella, franchises come with brand recognition in place policies and procedures and millions in advertising to get their messaging across. They're more corporate styled and can offer a place for agents looking for a little structure and in-house training and mentoring. The National Association of Realtors recently showed that agents working for indies versus franchises is about 50-50. And for each, there are pros and cons how you run your business. Indy, it's your company, it's up to you. You wanna make a change, make it. You wanna stay the same, stay. Franchises, you have a proven system, but some decisions can't be made locally. They have to come with permission and that can take time. Culture, well, here's where I'm gonna say Indy or franchise, they're all different, but it depends on the people. That's where your culture comes from, identity. Right from the start, an indie can create who they are and what they're about. Franchises, you have a company identity that is well marketed, but you also have to carry that company overall image with you. It may inhibit your own branding or ability to define your own style. Associated cost, indies, get ready. You're gonna have to come out of pocket for everything, including advertising, but, Franchises have their own fees and commission splits. Advertising, indies, you either have to hire someone for assistance or like me, come up with your own marketing style and campaigns. Franchises, you get a lot with the program and it's already in place, ready for you to use. You see, everything boils down to personal choice and where you feel the most comfortable. For agents, talk to both sides and see which one best fits your needs. What kind of feel does it have? What kind of fee splits work for you? And most importantly, what's the best environment for you? And for buyers and sellers, same goes for you. Get what's best and what works best for you. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, talk about indies versus franchise. Like always, check out my Instagram, my Facebook page, and my website. Thanks and have a great day.